showing you my outfit because I am just about to head out the door. Also, I am vlogging with my phone for right now because uh, my camera is in one of the millions of bags um, that are already packed in the car. Um, so I'm gonna have to dig that out before we go. But essentially what I am wearing is this brand new Oakenfort um, cardigan. I am very much in love with how oversized um, this cardigan is. And then I've just got some Lululemon leggings. I've got the Lululemon Align tank. And then of course my tabby top handle. Um, I will be changing before we actually get to Montreal, but I just figured that this outfit is nice and comfy for the long car ride. Cause I believe our car ride is about five to six hours. So I honestly just wanted to be cozy and comfy, but obviously still kind of chic if I do have to step out of the car. Jewelry wise, um, yeah, nothing has changed in the jewelry department. I have still kept all of my diamonds and the baby box charm. I am wearing a black watch today, but um, pretty much everything is the exact same. So yeah, I'm really excited. We're about to head out and um, hopefully I will vlog a little bit of our drive because we do have quite a long drive. But anyways, I'm super excited. So let's go. just taking a quick pit stop for a bathroom break we also got some drinks at starbucks i got just a matcha latte because i have been drinking a lot of matcha latte lately i've been back on them um i went a, i went a little while without drinking them but um i've been quite enjoying them recently but essentially we are still about three hours away from montreal and so essentially our check-in isn't until 4 p.m and so we decided that we are just gonna be very spontaneous for our first night. We have everything planned for the next few days, um, but essentially we decided that for today, since we only really have kind of the evening to do things, we are going to be 100% spontaneous. So we are just going to walk to um, downtown, so old Montreal, and we are just gonna go to whatever sparks our interest. So we'll probably grab some drinks, some wine, and just some good food, and just walk around and enjoy the environment. So that's kind of the plan, but I will keep you updated, and I will definitely do a room tour once we get to our Airbnb. Um, everything has been super smooth with our Airbnb, so I'm very excited to get there and show you around. wanted to take a moment to show you around because it is so so lovely you will have just seen some clips of us at mont royal it's just we got here about hour and a half to two hours before check-in time so we decided to just take a quick pit stop at mont royal do a little bit of walking around we were trying to find a kind of lookout area 
but we didn't end up finding it um so we just ended up kind of walking around a different area which was still very beautiful because you got to see the city skyline which was very very beautiful but i just wanted to show you our airbnb before we kind of get all of our stuff in here and make a mess of it but yeah i just essentially found this on airbnb it was such a great price and it was just a really really lovely location as well it's not quite downtown it's about i would say i think it's like a 10 minute drive from old one trout which for me was perfect so let me show you all right so this is pretty much the living space as you walk in to the left you have the bathroom which is really really pretty very simple um nothing fancy just a regular bathroom very nice shower and then entering into the bathroom you have a washer dryer in here and then a closet in here and then to the right of me we have a huge closet there is hangers there's also an ironing board and an iron which is perfect I actually brought my steamer because I didn't know that she was gonna have all of that here for us so that's perfect and then we have our lovely little kitchen um, we've got a kettle a toaster um, full kitchen a beautiful island to kind of have a breakfast on to the left here sorry those are some of our bags um, we have a little desk area which is perfect because I do have to do some editing the bed we have um, a little TV and then this is just a little balcony and then this area just kind of overlooks where we are which is so so pretty so let's see if I can get outside is this opened Good morning everyone. I just got out of the shower and I am about to do my, well I already started my skincare, but I'm about to do my makeup to get ready to go out because we are going to go shoot some content and then grab a coffee and then we are off to the Montreal Museum of Fine Arts and I love art so I'm very very excited for that but um, last night was really fun. We spent the entire night pretty much walking around we ended up um, on St. Catherine Street which was not an intended discovery we we're actually looking for a liquor store and that was the only one that was open to at the time that we needed it to be because I think it was past six and everything else was closed and so we ended up looking for the one liquor store that was still open at um, like seven o'clock and we completely forgot that um, corner stores in Montreal also offer also sell alcohol because in Ontario you can only get them at certain grocery stores and then liquor stores so we forgot that we could just stop by at a corner store and pick up drinks but um, anyway so we pretty much spent the entire night walking around and just kind of getting to know the city a little bit and kind of spots that looked good for the next few days so that's what we pretty much did but today we have a full day we have two museums to hit so we've got the Montreal Museum of Fine Arts in the morning and then we've got the Museum of Archaeology um, later on and then we've got a wonderful wonderful reservation later on in the evening at this beautiful rooftop patio and it's funny um, it was found we discovered it and then you guys recommended it as well so I'm excited I think it's called Les Infants Terrible pardon my French um, but that's what it's called and that's where we're going so I'm very very excited but I'm just gonna quickly try and do my makeup because I have a feeling that I'm gonna struggle with getting dressed because I didn't pack clothes that were warm enough we were going through a heat wave in Toronto and um, here they are not and I thought I had checked the weather and it said that it was gonna be around the 25 range um, but today it's not gonna go higher than 21 which is not very warm for what we've been used to <laughs> in Toronto so I don't know if I can pull off the shorts today maybe I can I don't know if not I'm gonna have to wear my pants and I only packed one pair of pants which is not great so yeah we'll see how that goes but um, I'm kind of sad that the weather changed a little bit actually I'm not sad I'm excited because I love this type of weather it just means I might have to create some new outfits that I was planning on having to wear which is perfectly fine <laughs> Also, pardon this little thing at the bottom. You're on a pillow because I didn't bring a tripod. So that's what that is if you're curious. But anyways, I'm going to quickly finish my makeup and then I can get ready. And then it will be a full day of exploring and eating good food. So I'm very excited. Good morning. We just got the best chocolate croissant at this little coffee shop called Bodega. Coffee is super strong, but that chocolate croissant, we got one. 
but that was a mistake because tomorrow morning we'll be getting two because you need your own. It's just too good to, to have one and share. <laughs> We're running a little late, so hopefully we're getting the time. trip and just being in your own place like best feeling ever <laughs> but I just wanted to sit down and kind of give you a recap of what you just saw 
and some of my favorite places essentially have a little girls chat about my trip um because i had the most wonderful wonderful time so we got there and everything was wonderful you saw most of that footage so the first day was honestly a little bit more of like sightseeing so there were a few museums that we wanted to visit and with that i think there was one clip where i said we're running late essentially the reason why we were running late you don't usually run late to a museum um but we had to book everything in advance and everything had a time slot so we actually had to book what time we would be going to each museum or each gallery um so everything was quite specific just because of covid um another thing that was quite different for us was the fact that the day we had arrived, Quebec had actually implemented their vaccine passports. I don't really like to call it that, but so we, it was no big deal for us. We just really had to show our proof of vaccination. We pretty much just had them saved onto our phone. And so every time we went to a cafe, a bar, a restaurant, wherever, we just showed the waiters and we just told them that, look, we're from Ontario, so we don't have the app, but here's our proof of vaccination. And it was super, super easy. Um, no big deal, no hassle. Everyone was great about it. Um, that was the only thing we were concerned about heading there um, But honestly, it was perfect. So yeah, so the first day was a lot of sightseeing. We went to museums So it was a lot of sightseeing which was wonderful. We did hit some really nice um, Spots to eat. We went to Tommy cafe Which was actually one of the locations that you guys that a lot of you guys had recommended and at least for myself when I travel I kind of like to steer clear of any touristy places spots, locations, etc, etc. And so I was very careful to find places that were very local um, or at the very least just weren't super popular, if you know what I mean. So Tommy Cafe was a place that was recommended quite a lot. And essentially like prior to our trip, I was searching for the Montreal Blog TO. And if you're from Toronto, you know that Blog TO is a blog and Instagram account that has everything all the best food places in the city and it's all about awesome local food spots so if you're planning to visit toronto follow blog to because honestly all of the places that they recommend i can speak for them um are phenomenal <laughs> so anyways i was trying to find essentially the blog to of montreal and one of the places that i found throughout that research was tommy cafe and so when we got there and we were walking to tommy cafe and we realized that it was um, quite busy. Like there was a lineup to get into this cafe. And we're like, That's really odd. Um, it looks very touristy. And so thankfully the night before, so that was the first night that we arrived, we said we were just gonna be spontaneous and walk around, essentially get a lay of the land. I am so thankful that we did that because that evening we had actually walked past a Tommy cafe which looked very local. It wasn't overly busy, but you could tell that there was still a lot of locals eating in there. And so the next day when we went to the one that we had saved, we realized that there were two Tommy Cafe locations. And I think the one that was busier was pretty much the prettier location. I think it has a beautiful um, interior and the door to get in is very beautiful. But we actually ended up going to the smaller location, which was just on a really tiny side street. The service was amazing. The food was phenomenal. I really, really enjoyed going to that one. I will actually list down below all of the places that we went to that way if you guys want to visit you will have all the kind of addresses and um, just names of everywhere that we went to so that was the first place that was one of the first places that we went to so Tommy cafe was wonderful that evening we went to Lays and fonts which was a wonderful um, restaurant on the 44th floor of one of the buildings in Montreal and it was such a beautiful restaurant food was also wonderful we thought it was gonna be a rooftop patio but I think that their patio was actually closed it was starting to get a little bit chilly so we actually ended up eating inside and we didn't mind at all it's beautiful anyways and so technically that was our second day in montreal because we had already been there the night before the next day i didn't film a lot you guys clearly saw that but the third day was my favorite day i have so many wonderful stories we explored so so much we essentially went uh further north of old montreal kind of um pretty much east of Mont Royal and we were planning to go to the Jean Talon market and we didn't end up going there we ended up just walking through streets and we walked for hours and hours and hours and we just had a blast um, discovering places we went, we went to the Saint Viature bagel shop which we knew was gonna be very popular but um, it was just an easy spot that we could have gone to and 
we hit some really nice coffee shops. I went, I got so much coffee in Montreal. <laughs> And then we were going to go to Schwartz, which is a poutine and sandwich shop. I had actually previously been there with my family, but the time that we went, I was actually sick. And so I never had a chance to have one of their sandwiches. So I was very excited to go to this, um, to Schwartz, like very, very excited. So I'm like, yes, now I get to try these sandwiches. And so we essentially had, were on our way to Schwartz and it was about three o'clock in the afternoon. And so we were like, okay, well, we're one block away. Let's just stop at a random bar. Let's have a drink. I had a mojito just to like, you know, like just to catch our breath, to freshen up, you know? So we're sitting at this bar and we're like trying to decide where we want to go for dinner because what the way we had, we weren't super scheduled. I essentially just had a list of places that I wanted to go to that way, depending on how we felt each day, we had, you know, our places for dinner or places for lunch. And depending on where we were in the city, we would just look at the places in and around that area and then we knew what places we could go to. So knowing the area that we were in, um, there was an Italian restaurant and you guys know me with my Trattoria Nervosa and Italian food and pasta, I love my pasta. So I said, well, look, like we're in the area. Why don't we see if maybe um, after Schwartz, we kill a couple hours walking around and then we go get to dinner at this place. And so I said, well, you know what? Let's, um, after Schwartz, we can go home freshen up, take a shower, and then go out for dinner at this Italian place that I had saved. And it, I believe it was called Mocochion or Mochion, something like that, I will leave it down below. Um, and so we were like, yeah, this is awesome. So I was like, okay, well, you know what? Let me call to see if they have any space for reservation for like later tonight. We were thinking like eight o'clock, eight, eight thirty. And so we called this place and I was like, hi, like, do you have a reservation? And they're like, no, completely booked. And I was like, man, like, that really sucks. And for some reason I had the inclination to search up to see if um, they had any online booking system and they did. And they had one spot left um, for, they had a four o'clock and a 4.30 time slot for dinner for a reservation. And like I had said, it was about three o'clock when we got to the bar and ordered our drinks. So we started panicking because we really wanted to, you know, get dressed up um, for dinner uh, because after dinner we were planning to go out for drinks. So we start pulling out our phones, figuring out how we're gonna get back to the Airbnb and then back to the restaurant for 4.30 because we were 40 minutes away from our Airbnb. Long story short, we decided to skip Schwartz and so we ran home we were in the Airbnb for, I kid you not, I'm still impressed with my ability to get ready that fast, but we were in the Airbnb for, I kid you not, no longer than 20 minutes. We both showered, we both got dressed, I touched up my makeup, I touched up my hair, and we ran out the door. Um, and we pretty much ended up getting 15 minutes late to our 4.30 reservation. So I did call them in advance, letting them know that we were still gonna be there, but we were just gonna be 15 minutes late. Um, but I have to say, I am so thankful that we decided to actually skip Schwartz and go to this restaurant because it was one of our absolute favorite locations. Um, the pasta was phenomenal. The service was amazing. They were all super sweet there and the food and the wine. Oh, it was so funny because most places, um, had time limits and I'm not the greatest with time limits. I really like to enjoy my dinner and chat and talk and just enjoy my food and my drinks. And so we were giving, um, it was just over two hours for our table. And we're like, yeah, no problem. Like we won't need the full two hours. Like we'll be out of there in two hours and then we'll get on our way to another place. And we ended up getting kicked out of our table and because the next reservation was coming. And so she's like, we were still drinking wine and we wanted to order um, limoncello shots. And so she's like, guys, like we, we would, we would love to just leave you the table, but unfortunately we have another reservation coming. And we do have a little bench here off to the side if you want to sit there and keep drinking. So it was really funny because we felt like two children who had gotten in trouble. And anyways, we ended up sitting on that bench for I don't even know how long we had more wine and we had limoncello shots and we were having just an absolute blast and but we still felt like we were banished because <laughs> we were sitting on this little bench honestly it was such a nice and funny moment probably one of the highlights of the trip for me 
Um, from there, we went back downtown and we stopped at, I think it was called 571, 371, something like that. There's a seven and a one in there. Um, it was actually a bar that a high school friend of mine recommended to us that she had just previously been in Montreal. So we actually stopped there. Uh, we were just planning to have one drink, which we only had one drink. But so we get there and she's like, well, you know, we have two hours. And I'm like, that's like more than enough time. More than enough time. We're literally having one drink. Um, not sure where the time went, but um, we pretty much used up the full two hours and had to leave because there was a reservation coming. Um, and from there, we went to one of my all-time favorite spots that we went to in Montreal. And it was Milky Way Cocktail Bar. Um, this was one of the best spots I personally have ever been to. Um, just, not even just in Montreal, but just in general. The cocktails there were out of this world. Mm -hmm. And and we got there quite late. We actually had to wait two hours in line to get into this place. I was getting angsty because I was like, oh my God, like what if we wait two hours and this place isn't good? Because again, I had no idea what to expect. I had seen pictures online and I had read reviews and all this stuff, but again, you never really know what to expect because everyone's taste is different. So long story short, I was not the most sober leaving that place, but I had just an amazing time. The staff were phenomenal. The The environment was amazing. Everyone was having just an absolute blast. The music was great. And we had way, way too many drinks, but you know what? It was, I just, it was the perfect way to spend our last evening in Montreal. So that's a little bit of a wrap up of Montreal. Oh my God. I can't believe I forgot to mention Bodega. Bodega was a little coffee shop. If you live in Montreal, please go to Bodega. Um, it's just a little tiny coffee shop. It was near our Airbnb and we discovered it as we were walking to Old Montreal because we wanted a coffee for our walk and we get there and I order my typical cappuccino which was just amazing. And then we also ordered these chocolate croissants. One of the best chocolate croissants I've ever had. So, so, so good. We went there every single morning um, because we loved it so much. And um, I can tell you that if I ever go back to Montreal, I will be going back to that very same coffee shop multiple times because it was just so, so, so good. Um, so if you live in Montreal, I highly recommend um, checking out Bodega because I really like it. It's a really cute environment. They also have a really cute kind of patio area outside if you just want to sit and do work or read or have a chat with some friends. Um, couldn't recommend it enough. So that was my other favorite spot. So that was kind of a little wrap up of Montreal. Wow, that was a long chat. Um, and then the next few days, I was kind of debating whether I was gonna film anything, but I didn't end up filming anything. But from Montreal, we went to Ottawa, like I had mentioned in my previous vlog, I think. Um, one of our friends actually just moved into a new apartment with his roommates and we were there to kind of just celebrate his move in and having a fresh start in Ottawa, which I'm just so happy for all of them. I love them all to death and we just had a blast. It was so, so nice to just spend time with some really, really good friends. So that was kind of what I did. I also hadn't been to Ottawa in, oh my God, I don't know how long. So it was wonderful to have him kind of show me around Ottawa again because it had been a very long time since I had been to Ottawa. So that was my little recap of my trip. That was a long chat. I was worried that this vlog was gonna be short, but now with my spiel here, it might end up being a decently long vlog. <laughs> um, but anyways, um, this week I start classes, so I'm very excited to get back on track with school, and I'm really excited for some of my courses. I think I have mentioned some of that but um yeah i'm super super excited to kind of get back with school so yeah that's kind of the plan for this week but i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and i was so happy to share some of my moments with you i'll also be sure to link down below um all of the food places that we went to because there were some really really good ones in there um, so whether you live in Montreal or you are planning to visit there, um, I would leave them all down there for you. But um, yeah, but anyways, thanks for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!